Kalamazoo is making changes to signage in its neighborhoods to help make them safer. News 8's David Horak explains why one street sign is being completely replaced by another on New Tonight. Yield signs like this one are usually seen in a roundabout, but there are no shortage of them at typical four-way intersections in the city of Kalamazoo. But traffic engineers are looking to change that. It seems that people just don't really know what they are today. It's back to basics for Kalamazoo area drivers. With the exception of roundabouts, traffic engineer Dennis Randolph says stop signs will replace the around 400 yield signs posted throughout the city. People don't know what the yield means. We might as well put a stop sign in. People know what stop signs mean. Sometimes they, they ignore them, but they know what they mean. Randolph says at least 10% of crashes within city limits involve intersections with yield signs. While they're not minor in nature, it's still a noticeable trend. Depends on the neighborhood and the street that you're on. You know, most of them are buried inside of residential neighborhoods. So they, they tend to be low speed. I think often sometimes they aren't even reported. And, and, and but but they happen. And I don't know if new, the new drivers, if they're, you know, they know about yield signs, what they're supposed to do at a yield sign, if it means, oh, just, you know, just kind of, you know, maybe pay attention. And, you know, I don't know. Which puts Sue Hall and her walking buddy Barney on edge when out for their routine stroll. She and another neighbor tell me drivers passing through go way too fast for comfort. They believe this simplification, so to speak, is a step in the right direction. I think that will definitely help. I don't, um, I'm not aware of a lot of yield signs anymore, to tell you the truth. They have put in more four-way stops in the neighborhood which, you know, is a good idea. Randolph plans to replace all yield signs at traditional four-way intersections like this one within the next three years. But this one in particular at Fulton and Cameron will be replaced sometime this fall. And when we told a third neighbor about it as he was passing through and stopped by to ask us uh, what the story was today, he said, all right, with a thumbs up from the driver's seat. We're in Kalamazoo, David Horak, News 8.